guys, thanks so much for watching. Ooh, this tooth almost fell off. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a Halloween tutorial, and it's obvious I'm going to be a vampire, right? Ah! I'm about to bite somebody. I'm about to bite a cucumber with some lemon chili and salt on it, because I don't know about you, but blood's kind of nasty, so yeah. I would rather have, you know. And Jude's looking for something else, but that's not blood. So anyhow, let's get this tutorial started. If you're interested, just keep watching. So I'm going to start with my eye. And if I get real close in here, you can see that I've already applied my concealer as my eyeshadow base for my eyes all over my face also. The concealer I used was from this Coastal Sense palette. I really needed a really light, light color because I am trying to look like a vampire and like, you know, a million years old. So I went with the, almost the lightest concealer on the palette and I used my uh, Round Top Kabuki brush by Sigma to get all up in there. <laughs> okay, so now for my eyes, I want to give that really tired um, look. So I'm going to be using this awesome blush by MAC and this is On A Mission Beauty Powder. And I'm just going to take that all over my eye. This brush is kind of wet and it feels like Jude had it in his mouth. The color of this is almost like a plummy, like a light purple color, a lilac color. So it's perfect for this type of look all over your eye because you can see it looks like someone punched me right in the face. Then you want to take that color right where your cheeks are to hollow out the color here. Then you're going to take that same color and put some right around the mouth area. Then I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush like this and my MAC palette. I'm going to be using this cool color called Sketch. It's like a dark plum, dark burgundy color with that fluffy brush because I'm not trying to be perfect or neat doing this look because dead people are not neat. So I'm just going to go all over my lid with this fluffy brush and then down below too. So all over and down below. Then taking a little bit of a darker color, and this is Shadowy Lady, the darker purple with some really cool gray blue undertones. So I'm going to take that one and do the same thing, except for really concentrating on the crease and the outer corner. Then we're taking Naked Lunch, it looks like this from MAC, and a flat eyeshadow brush to clean up that highlight area just below the eyebrow, and then I'm going to do all my blending with that fluffy brush. So, as Jude sits on my lap, I'm going to be using Le Cole Pencil Black Carbon, or Carbon Black, my bad. Carbon Black by um, L'Oreal Paris. It's just a pencil eyeliner. I'm going to go ahead and mark my waterline. No, don't touch the camera. No, no, no. I'm going to quickly mark my waterline. Then up above, I'm going to go ahead and mark it as well. <laughs> Jude! <laughs> I'm going to mark it as well. Bunny bear. You're so funny today. Let me zoom in a little bit since I've got to do this with him on my lap. And as you can see on this one, it goes up and it's dark in this area. So what I did was just marked the area that I wanted the black to be. Like this. And then took a pencil brush. Voila. 
and really blended that out. Then take whatever the remainder color is on that brush and contour my nose a bit. Next step is going to be um, curl your eyelashes, add some mascara, and some false lashes if desired. And I love false lashes. I'm using these huge drag queen eyelashes from Miss Adoro. Can't remember the actual number. Now that I've got my eyes pretty much done, I'm going to be working on my fangs. Now, Lord knows I wish my teeth were a little bit wider, and I'm working on that. I will keep you guys updated or informed on my routine and my process of getting wider teeth. So, stay tuned for that video. I'm going to be using, I already tore up the box. I'm going to be using these vampire fangs that I got from CVS or Walgreens. Is this a CVS? I'm not sure. So it comes with two teeth that are in a little coffin. Super cute. And it also comes with dental putty. And you've got to mix these two yourself. So it comes with a base and it comes with a catalyst, it says. is to take the contents of each packet and split it in half. It feels kind of gross. Yucko. So here are the contents of the little packages. One's green, one's um, white. So it says to take half and half. One's for one tooth, of course, and the other's for the other tooth. So half and half and mix until you get an even color. So half and half. Just mix them with your fingers until you get the right color. going to do is put the putty in each tooth I guess until it overflows I'm not really <laughs> sure but it's like this and then you stick it on your tooth And I suppose you're supposed to wait until like five minutes. Like five minutes. This is horrible. How are you gonna talk when you're at a party? You're gonna be like, ah. this is so funny. Oh, that's how you're supposed to do it. It's like, what are you gonna do when you have like a party to go to and you're like, Aah. I suppose you can put like lipstick on and stuff. Cause I know I've seen a lot of people put like red lipstick, but seriously, I've never seen a vampire with some red lipstick, but that's totally optional. But I'm going for more of a twilight kind of a deal where they have their fangaroos, but they're not like all like sexified. Like this is not hoochie um, vampire tutorial. This is just straight up vampire like I'm about to suck the blood. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks guys so much for watching. Hopefully you found this a little bit informative. Hopefully even a guy, well not a guy, but No, you're supposed to be scared. No, I'm supposed to be scary, not funny, you psycho. Hey, psycho. Well, I'm going to go eat my son now. So hopefully this was easy, fast, and you guys can recreate it. Anyhow, um, thanks so much for watching. Happy Halloween, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.
Jude wants to help put makeup on me. <laughs> Jude! <laughs> <laughs> he knows where it goes! Judo! Not yet, baby. Not yet, okay. Thank you. Not yet, okay, baby? Not yet.